It feels like other people have a great relationship, but why is mine a shit show? Hey, Jeff here with GreatMenMoveMountains.com. I uh, just got back from my morning walk and I want to use what I saw this morning for this video, which is, well, how do I lead? Why does it look like other couples, the man, it's, he leads easily. And within my relationship, it's kind of like fucking all over the place. And she like hates me one minute or she wants space or she wants nothing to do with me right now or it seems like she's running away from me. Like, why is that? Well, I saw two men walking two different dogs this morning. So two men with their dogs. And one, he's jogging along fine. And, you know, he's just jogging along and the leash is loose and the dog is walking at the same, is running, you know, jogging at the same pace with him. And he smiles and he waves at me and it's all cool. And the dog is just following his lead and it's all great. The other one, the guy's like tense and the dog is jumping at me and trying to like in lovingly, the, the dog, I think like loves me. Like, oh my God, look at this man walking by. Wants to love me. I guess it's a female dog to be blunt. And uh, I, you know, I've, I've been around dogs a lot and I was like, that's probably, that's probably a girl dog. You know, she likes my energy. She's like, oh my God, who's this guy and, uh, over here? And you know, I have a lot of leadership energy. So the dog's like trying to come toward me, not wanting to stay right beside her man, right? And so, well, well, why is that? It's okay. So it's the precedent that we've set in the past. It's how you're showing up now in the moment and whether you have fear or you're leaning into the future. If you have fear about the anxiety or if you're in the present moment and you don't have fear about the anxiety. So how have you showed up in the past? How are you showing up now? And are you worried about how you'll show up in the future? So the man where the dog is, you know, just jogging nicely be beside him, she, the dog, feels comfortable. She trusts his leadership. She feels safe. She knows he's got direction. He's, he's happy, he smiled when he waved at me. Uh, the other one, she doesn't trust his leadership. He feels nervous. She doesn't feel held. His container, the depth of his masculinity, isn't deep. It isn't strong. And you can see it. He's worried. He's pulled in. He's like, oh, my dog. Right? Just like that. And I'm sure that's the way he is in the rest of his life. I'm sure that's the way that he is around other feminine energy. I'm sure that's the way it is within his relationship. Because your relationship with things that are close to you, like your family dog, very much mirror how you are in your other close relationships. Once we're past the honeymoon phase, you know, so it's like, well, Jeff, why is it easy at the beginning? These are things, by the way, we teach in our one-on-one coaching. Go to greatmenmovemountains.com. I'm starting another six-man group. It's called Relaunch. Relaunch your love, life, success, get more hugs, kisses, sex, and affection. Learn how to bring dark sexual energy into the bedroom. She wants to be she wants to have sex open to God. I almost used the F word here, but I'm trying to keep it good for Facebook. She wants to be loved open to the universe. She wants to be broken open in love. That's what I teach. That's the higher level ninja skills of the how, the what, the why. So contact me, greatmenmovemountains.com. So here's the, here's the cherry on top. Let's see, I lost my train of thought also in that. So let me give you the cherry on top of, well, how do we invite her back in? How do we invite her back in? So if you've trained dogs at all, or what this man needs to do is he needs to stop the walking forward if she's not focused on him, right? So he needs to stop the attention and the effort and the excitement of the walk if the dog isn't focused on him. And he needs to have treats for the dog, right? Treats like in his pocket so that she can turn and want to be with him. Now, obviously a woman is not a dog. Don't think that, but I'm talking about what he needs to do in his life. He needs to stop walking forward with her if she's not acting well, if, if it's crossing boundaries, if she's you know, running away, he doesn't need to be, he shouldn't be chasing her. It's actually repulsive to her. It's not what she wants, right? If this man walking the dog were to start chasing her, she wouldn't be, she wouldn't think that that's play. She'd probably run away even more, right? Because he doesn't have a trustable, solid energy. So if your woman is running the other way, you definitely don't want to chase her. And the reward is you lighting up, you praising those things that she does that you like when she does behaviors that you like, when she comes close to you, if she touches you at all, if she uh, you know, makes you something or she's a great mother or she softens and wants your direction, you need to praise that. And the way you do that is to become more still as a man. You need to come into the present moment and be in, let all those thoughts go out of your head. Breathe deep into your belly. Be more still and draw her toward you. And when she does, reward her. Praise her for the behavior. She wants to feel unique. Love you guys. Have a great one. Go move mountains one step at a time. Ciao.